what's up guys this is piece of tricks on channel and this is a simple tutorial on how you can remove google account lock or ff lock lock from your samsung galaxy j2 prime to be specific on these two models i will be showing you on sm532f and sm532m and this samsung galaxy j2 prime is also called as samsung galaxy gen prime plus so don't be confused with the name just match your model number if your model number is either g532f or g532m this tutorial is for you so i'll be showing you this on android 6.0 which is marshmallow and that without losing any data that means you will not lose any of your personal data from your device while removing frp so before we start you are gonna know and need some tools and files obviously you are even gonna need a computer or pc so these are the things we are gonna need first of all odin odin is the samsung official flash tool you can download this so you, you will have to download this frp tool and then in good file or adb file for your device i will provide you two uh, two links of in good file one for this model and one for this model download one of one of them which is for your model okay so uh, i've got all the files here for my i've got all the files here and this is the text of it now you'll have to follow these two simple steps First, we'll enable the USB viewing mode of our, of your uh, FRP lock to J2 Prime. For that, um, uh, we will flash the input file using Odin on your device. That will enable your ADB or USB viewing mode on your device, and then remove the FRP using FRP tool. So this is Odin, and this is the FRP tool from which we will remove the FRP. And these two are input files for two models and this is the samsung usb driver which will help you to connect your device with odin on your pc so download according all the files except these two according to your download only one according to your model okay after that first of all install the samsung usb driver i have already done this so i'm just gonna let it go i run it i just cancel it samsung usb driver for mobile phones it's already installed on your computer do you want to press it no I have already installed that's why I am calculating it no, now first of all you are gonna need to do is uh, switch off your device and pull out your battery just to be sure that your device is completely switched off and insert it again and then uh, put it into download mode by pressing volume down button home button plus power button at the same time for some seconds let's do it and after some seconds you should see your screen which which is saying warning just ignore it and press volume up button to continue to download mode and then connect your mobile device uh, with a computer using a usb cable after that run odin hmm. now my device is showing here on com3 again remove added on com3 you can see it here now all we need to do is <coughs> select the input file one of these according to your device model on from ap button on odin click on ap button and select one of these file which you downloaded for your model after that just click on start when you click on start the flash will start mm. And it will say here uh, your flash was successful, and here will here it will give you a green sign saying the flash was the flash was successful. After successfully flashing the file, in good file, now your device has um, ADB enabled or USB viewing mode enabled. Now we need to do is power on your device if it's not already. Just reboot your device or power on your device. After powering on your device, leave your device 
on this stage where you need to or where the device asks for your google account logins uh, where you need to input your google account uh, google gmail account address email address and then password uh, leave it there and then connect it again with your psc usb cable again connect it after that if see it says um, if it's if it's asked to uh, allow your device on your uh, allow your pc on your device just click on allow and then uh, install this frp tool keep it connected don't move uh, keep it and keep it stable do not move it install this while installing the and using this frp tool i recommend you to um, disable your antivirus for some time okay now i have already disabled it now run this tool when you run this tool this will be you can totally log it from here for more details okay when you do this run this on devices go to device tab your device should be uh, online and showing here then i will remove and again uh, plug it in plug in it device offline you don't need to scan but if you scan it will be better but for some time and then they are get your the device is online now you have to do is simply go to frp tab and then select method one and remove frp click after removing remove again okay, after clicking on remove frp uh, it will take some time um, after some seconds uh, your frp will be gone and your device will be rebooting automatically uh, it will say here you can see here now uh, do this detected running I have to remove I have to remove down and then everything removing your device okay now after doing this you should be able to you should be able to use a device like normal before uh, you don't need to enter your google account it will be removed automatically instantly <laughs> if you um, need any help if it won't if it didn't work or if you get um, stuck anywhere at the at some point in this tutorial just comment down below i will surely help you thanks for watching enjoy your day and good luck